what feels like a cult, and is in fact a cult. Scientology. All of these nutrition places with their loaded teas are just a front for Herbalife. MLMs but especially Mary Kay. I went to a convention once as the guest of a consultant because she was trying to get me to join. It was very Stepford. Also, she didn't tell me you were expected to dress up so I showed up in jeans and a hoodie. Nutri Boom. Boarding schools for troubled teens. The troubled teen industry. Jehovah's Witnesses. Whatever the Duggars are. Creepiest bunch I've ever seen. The entrepreneur lifestyle. Many people are encouraged to put aside pleasures of life in the tiniest hope that if they just grind hard enough they'll be billionaires. Also, while caring a lot about your money and how you spend it, buy my $500 plan to help you make money faster. I don't quite know how to explain in, but once a fandom reaches a certain point, it's almost embarrassing to admit that you like the show, movie, book, etc. because you automatically get lumped in with the super cringe and toxic portion. The prosperity gospel. Canon. People who are way too invested in the college they attended. Workplaces that tout, we are a family. I seen too many people fall into that and get ostracized by the family. Scientology look up, Zenu. Hawaii did not even exist 75 m years ago. L. Ron Hubbard was nuts. Yet Scientologists believe this shit. I can't believe Tom fucking Cruz believes this shit. Anyone says they are a Scientologist, avoid them like the plague. Batshit crazy. Westboro Baptist Church. Primerica. Worst cult vibes ever. Those Shen Yun performances that are overly advertised every year. Turns out they're directly tied to Falun Gong. People who buy Twix candy bars based on the left Twix versus right Twix. Pentecostalism. They tell everyone they are the true original Christian church, but in reality they just control people. Most of their churches have tons of rules, women can't cut their hair at all, or wear pants or jewelry. Watching TV or movies is either discouraged or outright forbidden. Any type of alcohol consumption is forbidden. That's just the beginning of it, highly recommend doing some research into the movement, crazy bunch of people. Edit. Obligatory rip my inbox, I'll try to respond as I'm able, guys. Edit 2. For those that were a part of this denomination and have since left, check out, r, expentacostal. Edit 3. Holy shit, it just keeps coming. Come over to, r, naked pentecostalism I can't respond to every comment here. Nexium. All hail Vanguard, and pass the branding iron. Scrolled through and didn't see it. Every iteration of the self-improvement, self-actualization, get rich, get happy seminar scam. Landmark Forum, Est, Tony Robbins, Robert Kiyosaki, MLMs, etc. They all make liberal use of brainwashing and manipulation techniques you also routinely see used by cultists, and the goal is the same, to exploit desperate people for financial gain. Chief's mess in the US Navy, which comes complete with initiation, something no other branch, enlisted or officer, has and that this somehow forms an eternal bond of blood by family, that includes eating food out of trash cans and sabotaging uniforms for the greater lesson, then, private, meetings that have grey areas, secrets of what happens in those meetings. Specifically anything related to punishments or review boards. The fact that it takes two chiefs talking behind closed doors to get anything accomplished is also proof. People notice, though it's implied that it's not noticed. CrossFit. Mom run community Facebook pages. Amish, Mennonites, and other Anabaptists. You may think they're all quaint and cute but there are huge abuses hidden in those churches. Sorts by controversial. Trump. Genuine love of a single politician. Yes, maybe this person is legitimately good, or is doing positive things in certain areas and perhaps negative things in other areas. It's largely subjective. If it weren't, most countries' citizens would just be happy. But listen, if this person is the best and we're going to harp on about it forever, and in the reverse harping on hating said person forever, then you've got yourself a cult. If you love a politician, you're an embarrassment. They're certainly not as perfect as you think. We can acknowledge those imprecations and vote based on policy, but making a single one of them out to be perfect, or imperfect, means you've just chosen a side and you're likely not even going to try to open yourself up to altering opinions. As somebody who lives in Florida, people obsessed with Disney. Peloton. A few things come to mind, but I think people can get religious about concepts as we sometimes need to believe in something. Not sure I would say that the below examples are cults but they are cult-like aspects to it. Mobile games with daily rewards springs to my mind way too easily. Games with loot boxes are extra evil. 
Sometimes some corporate training produces people who lean a little too hard into the concept. And then they go and spread the ideas further to recruit more. Edit. Fixed mobile misspelling. Brand loyalist. A product people are scary. Double A. Essential oils, or as my mom calls it, multi-level marketing. Marching band. You march and play songs at your leader's will. The cult of personality. MLM. Texas A&M fans, Aggies. Here in Texas they are a cult. Fucking debate me if you live here and disagree. You'll probably say, what about UT fans? They wear burnt orange and you aren't talking your shit about them. True. But unless you see the difference you can't understand. I have a close-knit group of six friends. All Aggies and I don't even watch football. From an outside perspective, cult. Jehovah's Witness and Scientology. United States College Admissions. Alternatively, Greek life. The KKK. Alabama fans. You can find my dad's skull and bones Yale picture on my submission somewhere. He is so secretive about it. Feels like a cult. He was one of the few black men. The Trump crazies. The ones who show up and wait hours to hear him speak even though they were just at the last rally last week. The ones who stormed the Capitol because he whined that it was a steal. The ones who will buy all the merch and all the fan-made merch. Those people. Upper management in any fast food chain. Christian moms against seedless watermelon. The Reddit community tears of joy. Jehovah Witnesses. It's easy for folks to join, but difficult to leave. They shun those that leave or question their beliefs, to the point that they ruin family relationships. They have a closed group that dictates their group, and tend to never interact with outsiders unless they are trying to get new members or it's the only option. They have way more shady things going on with child abuse and abuse in general than that modern Catholic church. But because they aren't as big, people just ignore them. Country clubs. 